The caste-based hierarchy of Indian society has a historical root of community-based occupation for centuries. People living at the bottom of social hierarchy form the majority of the population. Yet, they are the most economically poor, vulnerable and insecure. One of these socially ostracized and marginal sections is the scheduled castes, also known as Dalits. They constitute well over 16% of the Indian population. The Indian constitution recognizes the term scheduled caste. The numerous government projects over decades implemented by different organizations are driving a change in terms of their livelihood, income opportunities and civil liberty. The Department of Science and Technology Government of India, under its SEED division, has implemented a countrywide coordinated network project towards better livelihood management of the scheduled caste communities through resource allocation, technology transfer and empowerment. Under this, different grassroots level community-based organizations were screened and selected by the expert committee as networking partners of the four zonal coordinating agencies. These coordinating agencies closely monitored the implementation of various interventions at the project villages in their respective zones. हम सब लोग गांव से जुड़े हैं और विज्ञान और तकनीकी का हमने हमेशा सम्मान किया और किसी भी राज्य में सबसे बड़ा परिवर्तन दुनिया में जो सबसे बड़ा परिवर्तन आया है उसका मूल कारण तकनीकी और ज्ञान है और ये वो वर्ग था जो कि परंपरागत और हमेशा से तकनीकी में हमेशा से विशेषज्ञ रहे हैं इनकी आवश्यकता हर मोड़ पर पड़ी है और इसलिए दिमाग में हमेशा एक हृदय में एक प्रश्न मेरे था कि हम इस वर्ग के लिए क्या कर पाए हम इस वर्ग के लिए वो कर पाए जो शायद आज तक कभी किसी ने इस तरह से ना सोचा हो पहली बात दूसरी बात ये सम्मान के अधिकारी हैं इनके लिए भी वो सब कुछ होना चाहिए जो हम आम व्यक्ति को केंद्रित करके सोचते हैं उसके विकास के लिए Kionjar in Orissa and we are on our way to Katarapalli. As many as 26 scheduled caste families in this village benefited through different interventions. Making bamboo products like these fetches a good amount of money even in the local market. Achai, tu me kon bhabu che ithro labho mili hobe? सहज जो नुआ नुआ जिन तैयारी कर पार पुणी आसंता वर्ष कम कौन कर
Skills such as this largely facilitate women to take part in income generation and become active. Seed Division tried to bring in a concept of an integrated and coordinated program which would cover larger geographical area, larger population of scheduled caste, a bigger basket of technologies which are state of art and leave a distinct imprint which will be sustainable and it will continue even after the end of the project duration. Sainal Dehi This village in Bakura sees Orun Mondol, an animal expert of Shomoitamot, as a visitor even after the project is over. During the project, a series of animal healthcare camps were organized by Shomoitamot for regular checkups of the livestock, deworming, and other treatments. The mortality rate of the goats came down well below 10% at the end of the project, leading to a population growth of two and a half times. Intervention gulon modde, je gotari intervention da chilo, je kono tinta village mile, mota moti ona ne varaj 37 beneficiaries chilo. Tin shor aspa shayro kum chagol niya ami kaj shuru kore chilam, তারপরে তাদেরকে রেগুলার বেসিসে যেমন শিডিউলি ডিওয়ারমিং ভ্যাকসিনেশন এবং সময় সময় অসুবিধা হলে চিকিৎসার ব্যবস্থা করে সেটা 2016 এ মার্চে যখন পৌঁছালো তখন দেখা গেল যে ডেটা যা বলছে আর কি তাতে আপনার ওই 37 বেনিফিশিয়ারিতে লাগভাগ 5 লাখ টাকার মতো ছাগল বিক্রি হলো এবং তখন 31st মার্চের রিপোর্ট অনুযায়ী প্রায় फिर Although seasonal, making khejuri molasses has become the cash cow for the women in this village, courtesy this coordinated network project by the Department of Science and Technology, or DST. The collection of khejuri juice early in the morning to the making of molasses takes four to five hours straight. Project components like preparation of molasses from khajuri juice, which is taking place in Bahala village involving three SC SHGs, 10 women beneficiaries, it has resulted in the reduction of the use of khajuri juice for tadi preparation, reduction in the consumption of liquor by the male members and hence also the reduction in women atrocities. Farming has seen a change under this project. Especially backyard kitchen farming like this has benefited people with nutritional supplements as well as some earning through sales. Besides, the application of organic fertilizers has increasingly become common in kitchen farming. This particular household of the Biswas family in Sri Chandrapur, Birbhum, literally uses every means to make their farming organic. And here we see the techniques of systematic rice intensification or SRI for paddy cultivation. আগে ধানটা চাষ করে আমাদের 8 বস্তা করে বিগিয়ে দিতে হতো এই ধানটা চাষ করে 10 বস্তা হচ্ছে বিগিয়ে দিতে আগে আমাদের মোটা ধানে গুচি চাষ করে আমাদের 1500 টাকা লাভ হতো এখন এসআরআই ধান চাষ করে আমাদের 5700 টাকা লাভ হচ্ছে মোটামুটি খরচাটা কম আমাদের 20 টাকা কম লাগে ধরেন মোটা গুচি দিলে বিগেতে 10 কেজি ধানের বীজ লাগে আর শিপদিতে চাষ করলে 600 গ্রাম বীজ হলি ধানের বীজ হলি আমাদের হয়ে যায় এক বিঘা জমি this technique uses natural means of cultivation resulting in a stronger plant health with fewer mortality rates 
at low input costs. We are now at Dambudhar, a village in Mayurbhanj. Villagers here used to make ropes or threads using sabai grass. Under this coordinated project, the beneficiaries got trained with know-how to use an automated device to make these ropes of sabai grass. The purpose of this device is to increase the productivity by reducing time and effort. But something went wrong. Beneficiaries expressed their concern over the utility of the machine. Inserting more than two sabai grass threads into this often fails to twist and turn properly, resulting in the tearing of the threads. This has made the making of thinner ropes extremely difficult, and they have a high market demand. Evidently, it has made the beneficiaries return to their manual practices. This device has failed and it hardly added anything to their productivity. It is high time that the organization in charge gets in touch with the innovator of this device and fix the problem. Tirunelveli in Tamil Nadu. This region has one of the highest concentration of windmills in our country, being at the tip of the southern Indian peninsula. And we are now at Ilayanayanakulam of Nagarkoil. The project has seen participatory activities of the villagers here. Here is Chandra. Her backyard poultry has been a success with its dual benefits of family nutrition and a steady income through the sale of chicken eggs. And the quality of the land, the war, the Varmana, Gitla, and the Gate, Nala Varmana, Varadalok, Pathagamudi, the Nala Unjan and Katachik in the Nirvana. The intervention of a computer training program has given young people like Viveka an opportunity to change their lives. She is now preparing for a state level examination. Currently, in this project, we have identified the young people and uh, try to train them in non-farm sector. Non-farm sector means all those training programs are technology-based training programs. We are imparting new skills to them based on the demand in the villages, based on the need of the uh, service personnel required. For example, plumbers, carpenters, electricians, drivers, automobile mechanic, you know, such uh, <clears throat> new technique skills has been introduced for the young people. This village in Chitradurg district has something to tell at its very entrance. Here the roads are bifurcated. One goes to the section where general caste people live, while the other winds towards the scheduled caste homes. Besides organic farming and kitchen gardening, the village has seen interventions like small dairy units and skill development programs leading to income generation for the beneficiaries. So when you join this project... During our documentation, the East Zone Coordinator and the Project Investigator were seen interacting with the villagers. Group monitoring meetings are regularly organized by the field worker in this project who was once a farm laborer. Carpenter Kelsana either in the project in the Bandudido, either in the Le Mundurshandokta Dino, Amale Ide Kelsa Marikendo in project to Tagan Mele, Ide Kelsan in New Echina Marbokan Teli, Makalela Vodishanta, Idene Kelsa Marpadino. 
ಜಮೀನಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನೂ ಇಲ್ಲ he was trained in carpentry under this project a farmer turned carpenter he can make a living with multiple income opportunities from both the occupations this water filter unit through reverse osmosis gives the villagers great relief especially in the summer months located in a dry and semi arid region the villagers irrespective of their caste come here and willingly pay money for clean drinking water the cash and accounts are maintained by village women like sunita the system roughly gives off 500 liters of clean drinking water purifying every 1000 liters of water with the waste line leading to the adjacent farmland Tailoring and crafting here have seen a success with many women who find it a good income opportunity with their skill and effort. Entak mundu nen kali ga unde danni DST vallu tailor nerpicharu guard samstha vallu vallu nerpiyadam valle nen tailor nerchukunna ippu tailor chestunna monthly 78000 varaku ostadi blouse ni batti saada blouse aithe 100 rupees ostadi mamulaga design blouse aithe 2 300 ostadi Meanwhile, Sunita has gone back to her office. She became the sarpanch of this village last year. A delightful change in her life through participatory activities of the project has led towards empowerment. We are now at the hollow brick manufacturing unit at Mangalapuram, a small village in the Krishna district of Andhra Pradesh. This production unit uses fly ash and other low cost materials to make bricks that are much stronger than the conventional ones. This village has seen other interventions too. Under the project a number of milch animals mainly cattle were provided to the beneficiaries. some of the beneficiaries got trained in modern farm practices this farmer has saved some money earned from his farming and is now building this house doubtless a sea change in his life as far as technologies and snt interventions are concerned uh, these are simple farm and off farm technologies something like sri technologies for rice cultivation vermic composting for manure and there are many mushrooms and many other the idea was to bring in a bigger basket of technologies for application depending on the resources available and the choice of the people This is Ganeshpura in Mahasana district in Gujarat. Some women are busy at the vermi compost production unit. One of the important observations in this coordinated project is how the beneficiaries accepted producing organic fertilizers at their backyard. Vermi compost produced here is applied in the cultivation of some medicinal plants which is an intervention too. ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಅಂತರ್ಗತ ರಾಧೇಜಾ ಕೃಷಿ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಕೇಂದ್ರ ಸಾಥೆ ರೀ ವರ್ಮಿ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಟ್ ತಾಲೀಮು ಲೀಧಿ ತಾಲೀಮು ಲೀಧ ಪಿ ಅಮೆ ಅಹಿಯಾ ವರ್ಮಿ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಟ್ನು ಶೇಡ್ ಬನಾಯು ಅನೆ ಎಮ ಆಠ ಬೇಡ ಬನಾಯ ಚೆ ಎಮ ಅಳಸಿಯಾನು ಖಾತರ ಬನಾವನು ಬೇನು ಕಾಮ ಕರೆ ಚೆ ದರ ಪಂದರ ದಿವಸ ಎಮ ಖಾಪ ಮಾರವಾನ ಹೋಯ ಚೆ ಪಿಸ್ತಾಲೀಸ್ ದಿವಸ ಖಾತರ ತಯಾರ ಥಾಯ ಚೆ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡೆಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ This solar cooker is used to make kitchen, dal and other vegetables. This village in Satara district has seen goat farming and animal husbandry as the most popular intervention. Arthi samste kodun shele milalele hoti. Ta tya shele je ami evde 5 varsha changla sangopan karun tyacha pasun don bokad ani don pati 
दोन पाटे आ दोन बोकड़ शेड़े उत्पन्न है तो ते दोन बोकड़ आम्मी विको आखीन तुम क्रॉप डाइवर्सिफिकेशन एंड फार्मिंग आर सीन हियर टू विथ वुमेन बेनिफिशरीज टेकिंग पार्ट The making of an earthen oven or chula is a unique intervention that we see here. Me maja mulinsa chuli cha paisa pason section purne kele. Two thousand four hundred sali ami four hundred chuli tayar kele amala thirty thousand rupees mehale. Transfer of technologies took place by imparting training to the beneficiaries. Sara Sangsthan works at the Shikhar district of Rajasthan. The organization has worked and delivered mainly through sanitation, drinking water, and goat rearing. Goat farming is highly popular as it offers a good income opportunity. This region witnesses one of the hottest and driest spells of summer in our country. Any solution to drinking water is always welcome. Issues on sanitation, health. and water use we have seen that the uniform situation prevails throughout the country and so these issues have to be addressed and we have seen that these have been addressed by the networking partner organizations in almost each and every case ये हमारे पास ये दोनों बकरियाँ जो आप देख रहे हैं यहाँ ये दोनों अभी दोबारा बच्चे देने वाली हैं एक देती हैं दो दो देती हैं या तीन तीन जो भी है तो हमारा अच्छा इनसे निर्वाह चला हुआ है और इनका दूध जो है वो बड़ी दूर दूर तक सप्लाई हम लोग कर रहे हैं डेंगू बुखार के लिए जो अभी तक चल रहा है तो ये सब चला हुआ है इन संस्था वालों का हमारे ऊपर बहुत मेहरबानी है ये बकरियाँ भी मानव कल्याण संस्था ले देती हैं तीन आते मतलब बहुत बेची लिया अभी तक भी मतलब पाया कर देना और इन फायदा बहुत ज्योरिंग दिस डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इन ऑल फोर जोन गोट फार्मिंग हेज बिन फाउंड टू बी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल इंटरवेंशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी सस्टेनेबिलिटी एज वेल एज प्रोटीन सप्लीमेंट विथ मिनिमल केयर एंड लो इनपुट कॉस्ट दिस कंपोनेंट हेज बिकम हाईली पॉपुलर अमंग द शेड्यूल्ड कास्ट पीपल who do not always possess fertile land for farming besides the village of kutla has seen many toilets and rainwater harvest tanks constructed during the project e tanki na manav vikas sanstha wale ne banayi hai karana sare kapde tone messi pani dasna sara sab kuch kheti wali sare isme sare khet sinchai wagaira sara karde hain is pani ne sare saaf safai bhi karde is tanki ne mahine baad saaf karde rehnde hai jo Periodical awareness camps on livestock and farming helped the beneficiaries tackle disease and pest attacks. This is especially important as most of them used to carry out farm practices for years without any knowledge. Chamroli, a small village with a poor literacy rate and extremely low income opportunities. The village has hardly anything to offer as amenities. Most of the men migrate to the nearby town to work as daily laborers. Under the DST project though, the villagers here have seen some interventions towards better livelihood management of the scheduled caste people. They are blacksmiths. He continues to tell us how the support from Hesco, the North Zone Coordinating Agency, under this project has enabled him to earn a living for his family of 11. And so does Prem Das, who earns as a tailor. Chhuri ka dimasi hu aur mujhe iske dwara machine dilaye gaye jo ki main apna silai kar raha hu. Other than the income generating programs, people also have got toilets. One for the family of each beneficiary. It is particularly convenient for the women who do not have to go outside to relieve themselves at night. Being surrounded by mountainous forests, this region sees wild animals appearing occasionally.
project on development of scheduled caste community was sponsored by Seed Division of Department of Science and Technology. Initiated first in 2007, this All India Coordinated Network project has since been driving a change within the scheduled caste community across the country. Education is the basic thing for the development of the people, especially among these scheduled caste and scheduled tribe people. We are doing some sort of uh, technology programs, of course, that is not welfare, that is also kind of an education program, functional education program. But basically, the young generation should be educated, should be exposed, should be exposed to new skills and knowledge, you know. That only really leads to the total development of the community. With science and technological interventions in health, sanitation, water use, education and skill development, the program has largely empowered the scheduled caste people, especially women, to rise up against the odds of social barriers and discrimination, save a few exceptions. Even in conventional occupations like farming and livestock management, these program initiatives have helped them fetch more earning and nutritional benefits out of a greater yield. Seed Division tried to bring in a concept of an integrated and coordinated program which would cover larger geographical area, larger population of scheduled caste, a bigger basket of technologies which are state of art, and leave a distinct imprint which will be sustainable and it will continue even after the end of the project duration. This coordinated network project has been a path-breaking program as it has opened up a new horizon for these marginalized people who had long suffered for their lack of skills, trained knowledge and opportunities. This type of all India coordinated project would bring in different SNT coordinated institutions who would be helping the network organization partners to take up different SNT related work for uplifting the SC community as a whole. Our country is now thriving with millions of youth, many of whom come from the scheduled caste community. They are the people of tomorrow. And only the people with higher skills and more opportunities can produce a better tomorrow. A better tomorrow for our country and for the coming generations.